Hello, this is Tomasz from Geekseller. In this video, I would like to show you how you can disable value shipping, or in other words, free shipping from your products on Walmart. We received many questions about it, so we decided to record a guide focusing strictly on this subject. If you are just creating your shipping templates or having a hard time assigning them, please check our previous videos. You can find links to them in the description. Okay, so let's get to it. As you can see, this user right here already have paid standard template, but for the sake of this presentation, we will create a brand new one. So if you click on new template here, you may notice that the value shipping is enabled by default and you cannot turn it off. You can add standard or two day shipping settings, but if you do not want to offer free shipping at all, you can do it here. There is, however, a way to set it up with a special template right here. After you click on that link, you need to select a paid standard template. And this will take you to a template with only standard shipping available. Please note this requirement here saying that you must offer standard shipping to the lower 48 states. It means that when you unroll this option, lower 48 has to be always selected Otherwise, the system will not allow you to save the template. So the first thing to consider when you are setting it is which shipping rate model you would like to use. With the first option, the weight of the total order, you can charge a rate per pound or per items ordered. For example, you can set a fee that is $1 per pound and let's say that your customer ordered two items and each item weighs two pounds, so the overall weight of the order will be four pounds. In that case, the shipping fee will be four dollars. In addition to that, you can add a shipping and handling fee, which is a fixed amount that will be added to each order, no matter the weight or number of items ordered. So if we add three dollars here and use our previous example, the shipping fee total will be $7. One thing that you need to remember when you choose to use weight in shipping rate calculation is that you must have shipping weight value assigned to all of your products. This is actually a new Walmart requirement to add shipping weight to all new items, but if some of your older items don't have this value, you will need to add it. So let's move to the second option and it is the price of the total order, which means that you can determine how much would you like to charge for a specific order total. So if we click this button here, we can add new tiers where we can input values. So let's say that we want to charge $5 for orders up to $50. And we want to charge $10 for all this up to $150. But for the older orders above $150, we don't want to charge anything, so we leave zero. We can also do that here. So the orders above $150 will be offered with free shipping, but anything below will be charged based on our previous tiers. Also, please keep in mind that you can set the transit time from three to five days for each shipping rate model and establish different rules for Hawaii, Alaska, the military addresses, etc. So as you can see, there are many ways to just customize your shipping templates. After you set the map the way you want, you can save the template. It will appear on this list right here with a template ID. For instructions on how to assign it to your products, please check our video in the link below. This sums up the removal of free value shipping on Walmart with the shipping templates. If you have any additional questions, let us know in the comment section or contact our support. Thank you.